want to show how to use Git to interact with Overleaf rather than actually having to painfully use Overleaf. Okay, so you get to your project, which is about here. Uh, if you don't know how to get to it, it's That arrow will give a list of the projects, and I'm going to just give an example of this one. Just because it's something to do. Alright, so to get the Git set up, you go to menu, down here, click on Git, and it gives you a Git command, a Git clone command to use on your system to establish the connection between your system and Overleaf. I'll close that away and hide that. Now what you do is you use that in a terminal window. Um, so if you now have to decide where to put it and um, let me put the repository in this folder. All right, so then open up a terminal window which is in this folder see that's the directory and then just paste in the git command there it is paste and you will see the git command saying yes it's cloning um, it's getting stuff it's unpacking the ob objects and it's done and we look in the directory and here we see a folder has appeared with that mysterious name. So now give it a name that's suitable for you. Inside that folder is the tech source. All right, so this is a way tech math examples, something like that. Okay, and you can now just use Git to manage it. I use GitHub, so to get GitHub desktop to manage that. We um, drag the folder onto GitHub and you can see up in the top left LaTeX Maths examples. Um, and you can see uh, there's only one file main.tech and here it is. And then you can just manage it as normal. Right, so for example, we can make some changes. Let's open that, find that repository. There it is. There's the text source. Uh, it makes a trivial change. Oh, quick brown fox jumps over the the dog. Save it. Check it, and there's the tech result, and it's all good. A couple more texts, and you get the table of contents. All right, so we now want to save that back and check that it works. Um, so come back to GitHub, and you see a number of files have been generated um, that GitHub knows, and the main one. That we're interested in is main.tech. Now all these other files are a bit of a pain to communicate so uh, use git ignore ignore to ignore all orcs files all log files the out files files and star.top files and any more that you don't really want to be uploading to Overleaf. So I'll save all those and the ignore the files. And you can see that only the only thing going to be uploaded is the tech, the PDF and that git ignore file itself. Summary uh, trivial test commit and then push. Right. 
first time's always uh, takes a bit of time. First time you do this, you may need to type in your user ID and password for Overleaf. Okay, but it's been pushed. You can see it's in the history. Let's see what Overleaf thinks of it. Where is Firefox? There it is. Uh, for some reason, I've lost the connection. I haven't seen that before. Anyway, and you see a few seconds later that the changes you've made and uploaded have appeared here in Overleaf. Uh, they don't appear over here in the display. You usually have to recompile in order to see that. And there it is. Now, if one of your collaborators is making changes in Overleaf, whoops, so they delete that. For example, recompile what? How does that flow through back to you? Well, via standard Git. So you go to GitHub and just to check on whether your collaborators have done anything, you fetch the origin. So this communicates with Overleaf. Ah, and it says there's something to get. get and you can look at the history and this is the history and there has been an update on Overleaf. So I'll click on that and you can see what was done. Main.tech got changed and that was deleted. Uh, and that would be reflected now in your file. Okay, let's have a look again. There it's gone. Okay so that all works nicely.